Uh, g'day guys, uh, this is uh, Paul from P. Carry 12 Productions, and yes, this, what you're looking at right now, is the mail, new mail application beta. Alright, uh, there's only a handful of us, or well, pff, handful meaning there's probably several thousand people out there with mobile me accounts that actually have access to the beta, but here is the actual beta itself. Uh, so here is what it looks like when you just move in. So obviously you can, uh, if you, if this is the mobile me, obviously the mobile me, uh, display that you log in through the web interface, if you have mobile me, and pretty much instead of you getting all your, all your uh, other menu items here, you go straight into the beta when you log in. Now to get to your other things and all that sort of thing, your contacts, your uh, iDisk, your whatever, uh, just hit on the cloud here and it will take you straight to the contacts page. And if you need to go back to mail, just hit mail again and it will take you back. Alright, so this is basically uh, the mail section of it. So if you want to actually say... Uh, check out the features. Here are some nice features here in preferences. So you've got general where you can just put in uh, your forwarding if you're away or stuff like that. Uh, if you want to load HTML documents and whatever. Uh, addresses. Uh, this is just set up of your general address basically for your mobile me and managing all your general accounts. Uh, composing, if you need to put a signature in for outbound, or you want to show uh, back copy CC, um, you can actually have that transferred as well. Composing, and that's rules, is the next one. So, if you're familiar with Exchange or Outlook, you'll know that you can add rules to do certain things. So, say for instance, you want when someone sends you an email, you want it to then store it and then forward it to a certain uh, contact or another email address and then store that email in a folder that you have. This is where you can add rules for that sort of thing. So as you can see there are the options for the rules at the moment. Uh, vacation, so this is basically your out of office response. So if you're using, uh, if you're familiar with Exchange and all that sort of stuff uh, in Outlook you'll have an out-of-office response. This is basically the functionality for that. It's called vacation, basically. So this is where you can just put in a little message and auto-response. So if someone emails you, an auto-response will get sent straight out saying, blah, 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 is not here, we'll be back on this day. That's if you're out of the country and don't have access to your email, which you probably will have anyway. Majority of the time, if you have mobile me, you probably have some sort of device to get to it anyway, hotspot, etc. Uh, so those are just the main preferences there, so that's um, that's pretty much what I want to show you in that uh, space. So general functionality, right. So you can actually click on new email, obviously, and a new message pop-up will come up here. So the first thing you want to do is obviously, you know, there you go, uh, just a few words, same sort of functionality you used to. It just pops up your uh, contact that's available from your keystroke. Or you can add it manually using the plus symbol from your actual contacts. You can then, I'll just put in the address anyway, so I can just show you. Alright, other options you got here, you got pretty much save to draft, which I've just hit, and now it's saved it into the draft section, as you can see there. And you can also add an attachment if you need to, and you pretty much do that. I don't need to show you how to do that, but nonetheless, uh, this is pretty much the send button. It's relatively obvious, it's a picture of a plane. So, yeah, that's pretty much adding stuff in a new message. So, deleting items. It's as simple as pretty much pressing delete. So that is pretty much it. And whatever's in your trash, you can pretty much empty. Right, so it's catered basically for widescreen mode. So when you actually run this in your mobile me application, it'll show you pretty much in what it's showing you now, pretty much in the widescreen format. 
So whatever rev resolution you're running this off, it's going to show you the full uh, client as is, like as if you're running something like Outlook. And this looks very Outlooky. Seriously, it's very good looking, but it's very Outlooky uh, in terms of Microsoft Outlook. If you didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Alright, standard functionality, obviously here is folders, so you just add a folder if you need it, and so, 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 so. Alright, this is a standard functionality, reply or forward, it's very, very straightforward there, plus you got other things like uh, move to folder, so this all uh, functionality brings out a Dropbox, which you can just move emails directly to any folder you like. Uh, archive is pretty much what it says, you press it, sends the email directly into your archive, and if you need it out of your archive, you simply just drop it out. So, that's pretty much it uh, for mail uh, in terms of um, how it uh, functions. Uh, delete is pretty straightforward, you just hit delete and it's going to delete everything. As far as I know, you can't select and delete as far as I know. Uh, I don't think the functionality is there or I'm missing the functionality. I've only had it for a day so if I haven't seen it yet well I will see it soon. Uh, so standard folders here you got pretty much your uh, drafts, your sent items, your trash, your junk. You can also customize that if you need to to disperse what is junk and what is not junk from your inbox. Then you got your additional folders here, obviously, that you set up, which are literally just your public folders, pretty much. So that is pretty much a introduction to the new mail beta. Let me guys let let me guys know what you actually think of the actual beta itself. Uh, what? How does it look? What do you? Would you guys actually use it? Um, obviously. It, some point in time when it becomes a full release you guys are probably going to have to use it you know um, do you guys like it do you guys don't let drop a comment and um, tell me what you guys think of the uh, new mail beta for mobile me cheers